What is up? I guess you know who it is, but you know the gameplay commentary. No, uh, <laughs> I'm not bringing you a gameplay. Hang on, this is going to be a help video now. For you guys who have the Elgato, Avermedia, H, uh, HGPVR, Roxio, you know, whatever, most of the capture cards now have been upgraded to do raw format capturing, which is normally TS, M2, TS, um, or another raw format. Um, and now they have the option to either record an MP4 on the go as you're recording, or they will do it after you're recording. Now, for me, um, why isn't it opening? There we go. For the Avermedia, I have it set as TS. I can do MP4, but what I notice is if I'm recording for half an hour or an hour, there'll be one time or maybe two. It doesn't always do this for some reason. It doesn't on some videos. It will glitch up. It's like the encoding that it's doing on the fly fucks up. Um, and I like the TS because it's raw format, not that much encoding is going on to output this format. It just outputs it. Um, and you know, a lot of people are having problems where they go to drop in the raw format. So this is for you guys who can't record at a high bit rate or you can't record in the alternate thing that they have offered and you have to do raw format. Um, sometimes too, encoding actually to another format can fuck up the video and your regular source raw format could be clear, no hiccups, no glitching, no lag, no nothing. And then after you convert it to MP4, you'll notice, fuck off, you'll notice your audio is not synced with shooting your gun or whatever. I've had that happen with the Elgato in the past. Um, but anyhow, so a lot of people use this program called MKV to MP4, or they use the capture card tools to convert it and it still fucks up. And this program here, you know, if you have a half an hour gameplay, you drop it in and it literally will take, you know, 20 minutes. It takes a long fucking time for it to demux it. This is basically what this does. It will re-encode your video a bit and it basically converts to audio. That way you have an MP4 or MKV format, which can be read by Sony Vegas. Because as anybody should know by now, if you have a regular raw game capture format, um, TS, M2TS, whatever it may be. So let's move these over here. So you drop this into Vegas and you will never ever get the audio, which most people, it pisses off and they're like, oh fuck, I don't wanna wait, you know, for all the encoding time. Well, you don't need to. You don't need to use Handbrake or anything like that, even though I have it here. Um, what you can use is, let me remove this. There's a program called TS Muxer. I will put this in the description below. This program is fucking great. So basically you take your video format. Um, now, let me actually, oh no, it's actually right there. So click here to open file. So we'll go here, junior. Oops, no desktop. What am I doing? Uh, so, as you can see here, there's a video, there's actual audio on this. And I could play the, the thing, you know, I'll even play it to prove it to you guys that there's audio. So... Mission is a go. Yeah, mission is a go. So there's audio. Plays fine, looks fine, but... Vegas sees that there's no audio. So what you want to do is drop your video into here. Now you're going to have two options here, which is the uh, audio and the video source. So you're going to want to untick the video source. The audio will always be AAC um, or AC3. You're going to be able to tell because it will say sample rate and not, you know, high profile 4.1 resolution and all that shit. So make sure you untick that. Have the other one ticked. Now there's going to be options at the bottom of here. Now you cannot save this. You could probably make a script to auto load this if you guys are good enough to do that. But you always want to have it on DMUX, the last option, all right? Um, you can automatically pick a place or have it go to the same place that your video format is. You hit start DMUX. Basically, 
it goes by pretty quick quicker than what mkv to mp4 or any other tool will do because basically what this does is it rips the audio from your game capture file and basically just exports it no converting no nothing it just copies and pastes it um, it doesn't actually fuck with the original uh, video source too which is completely fucking great so as you can see it hasn't touched this still have your your gameplay source so this is almost done so this is a, a f i think like almost a six minute video yeah so as you can see it's taken however long i don't think it tells you the exact time it took maybe it does i don't know it took 55 seconds um now let's actually see something if you were to do the re the remoxing let's see how long this would actually take this normally happens when you drop it in mkv to mp4 it normally locks up because it does whatever which this is another reason why i hate this fucking program i used to love it i fucking hate it now so i start this So I'll continue with the video because I know this is probably going to take a lot longer than 55 seconds. But anyhow, so that's doing its thing. Oh yeah, it just when it does this, it actually does another thing too after. So I'll actually, oh, there's a bug on my screen. I'll actually leave this right here. So anyhow, you have your, <laughs> you have your <laughs> exported audio sounds. So basically, okay, what, 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 what? What did it do that for? Okay, there we go. You drop it in, it all matches up, and it plays fine. Oh, sorry, that's actually a beat in the background. I'll mute that. So, yeah, you can hear the gameplay, so it plays. Um, I actually forgot to. Oh, no, I didn't. I did do it. Okay, so anyhow, there you go, you know, and then you have your, your commentary that you recorded. Don't ever record a commentary in MP3 because it compresses a dude in wave format. But anyhow, um, so you have your, your, your gameplay, your sound, and your commentary. And there you go, you know, you, you render out your video, you do whatever you got to do, and it it takes a lot less than I know this is a pretty lengthy video so I'll we'll actually go to this why well, I'm still waiting for that fucking program to go just let me oh I actually gotta move this down so I'll go to the end of here cut out this move this over okay uh, where'd that program go Ah, yeah, so it's still extracting the audio. So obviously that's over 55 fucking seconds. So why would you want to waste all your time doing all this shit when it ain't fucking needed? All just for an audio track. And to convert it to MP4, all the converters will take this amount of time as this program does. Doesn't matter how good your computer is. The only thing to get it done quick is to actually TS mux it and basically demux it instead of remuxing it which takes longer so i know that that may sound confusing but if you just watch this video i know it's a lengthy video but i'm telling you if you guys cannot record an mp4 solid after solid i mean on the fly as you're recording or after you're done recording the gameplay and have the tool convert it this is going to be your quickest bet to rip the audio put it in the vegas have your raw format in vegas and if you don't believe me and think it's some fucking shenanigan i'm pulling off um come on you can see it's still the ts file so <laughs> it's a great fucking thing and this thing is still going three fucking stages this has to go through like this is retarded I've already done my thing. I could have been rendering this and had it done by now too, but 
I, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any questions, comment below. See you on my next one. Peace.